Pearl Jam. Take a look at the band Hole and you see Courtney Love, a strong woman worshipped by countless teenage girls. But take a listen and you'll know who's really in charge. Another woman, drummer Patty Schemmel. When we were first on the road with Hole, Patty just, she was just heavy, you know. We are here in the green room of the Ford Amphitheater basement, yeah. <laughs> right? This is the LA premiere of Hit So Hard, correct? Yes, yes, this is the LA premiere, big night. So we're deep in the, the underground basement of the Ford Amphitheater, which is a beautiful theater. In a very clean green room, I must say. Yeah. So are you used to this? I know you're a rock star, so yeah. are you used to this much cleanliness happening? Not at all, you know, good point, because usually these walls are covered with, you know, graffiti and stuff mm -hmm. and band stickers and stuff like that. How many times have you actually seen the completed film because it's playing here tonight in Los Angeles, but you have screened at in New York and Seattle. Yeah. Have you watched it every time? Um, I've been to uh, the New York screening. I saw it and then I saw it at home. I really want to see the audience, you know, go there with the audience. You know, I live in LA, but Seattle is kind of like where it all started for me. So I want to be there in that audience. And New York was, you know, friends and, and some family. And then, you know, Courtney and Melissa were there. So I wanted to be on that ride with them too, you know. I met you last Thursday at the opening night of Outfest. I can't get the whole music out of my head. I've literally been singing it for four days now. I mean, imagine playing it for, for as many years. Mm -hmm. and, and then also watching it when we were putting together the doc, there was so much, you know, over and over and over again, you know. Tell me, how did you guys get involved? Did you sort of approach her? Did she approach you? Uh, you know, we actually uh, are not documentary filmmakers and really had no intention of becoming them, but Patty brought us this literally a gold box filled with this amazing footage and then needed a friend that she trusted to be able to make the movie. So we started watching all the stuff together and realized that there was an incredible story underneath it all. And also Patty telling us her personal story, we began to realize that there was more to it than even just the footage. So this documentary really pulls home videos from 92 to 98. Right. Um, did you shoot beyond 1998 or was that just where you stopped sort of for this project? Um, yeah, there's little bits of beyond then, but they're really, you know, I wasn't really in a sh in that much of a shape to be doing <laughs> any kind of video, you know. Is there ever a moment in all of the footage that you have in the film where it's still, there's a little there's a little pain that you go, oh God, that's that's really tough for me to sit through. Yeah, when, you know, um, when my mom talks about m when I came out, that that was that was a that's a tender moment. It's not an uncomfortable one. It's just one that makes me kind of get teary each time. And then then you know talking about um, when I uh, losing everything and being homeless and like sort of like the bottom of of everything. That that's always a tough. Scene. My little red-headed girl. Still, not all is bright, as one band member is missing. Can you guys tell me what's going on with Patty? She's, she's all dealing with some problems. What was the moment for you, actually, where you went, I need to clean up? Was there a seminal moment for you went, this, this is it, this is my bottom? Right. Um, it, pretty much, um, it was just um, that existence, you know, day by day, just the goal um, to... Um, continue getting high and like that was just you know one day it was like it just stopped working you know and I was stuck now what I mean obviously this is a personal tale it's your story but it is a, also a cautionary tale because I think you've often said that you needed to make these mistakes right. to be who you are now exactly. I, I believe that I was just born with you know a born an addict you know it's in my DNA and that's how um, and you know, it took what it took to get me to where I am, you know, and, and um, if I could have changed things, you know, if, if I had somebody telling me when I was a kid, you know, don't do that, it, it wouldn't have worked, you know, it really wouldn't have. everyone out there who's never sat behind a drum set with thousands of people in front of them cheering, what is that sensation like? Can you describe it for us lay people? <laughs> um, at, you know, it's, it's so freaky, you know, like when I go out and I sit down at my drums, I'm, I'm, you know, I always have that initial like anxiety. So I don't really look out there until like I'm like maybe a few songs into the night, you know, and then I'm feeling a little more relaxed so I can look around. Who's going to be 
performing with you because your screening is so hard and then it's sort of an all-star concert for all the fans out there who want to see everybody. So who do we have? Tonight, uh, my old bandmate, Eric Erlinson from Hole, is going to be joining. How long has it actually been since you have performed together? Eric and I haven't played since, we were talking about it at rehearsal, since 96, 97. You mentioned to me earlier that your relationship with Eric has really evolved basically since you started doing this documentary, since right. you started working on it. Yeah. What changed for you guys that wasn't happening 20 years ago when you were originally playing with Hole? Um, well, I, I got clean and sober, <laughs> which... That was, helps. Uh, huge communication help yeah. there. It's been really great. To, you know, I feel like we knew each other when, when I was a kid, you know, because I was, and now we're adults. Yeah. In many ways, uh, Patty's history and some is your history, at least in, in the footage that we're seeing tonight. Do you remember things, sort of how they are in the film from that time period? Yes and no. Uh, yes, our stories are, like her story is my story and related to the general band, but you know, we each have the, our individual perspectives of what was going on. And so I find, in this movie, I get to see like one person's perspective that, that lived through that madness that we lived through. Did it feel like madness then or does it feel like madness now that you're watching it back? Oh no, it was madness then. <laughs> madness then and madness now. Yeah. I mean, because it's it is what it is, it you is know. It's is. like yeah, it's not always pleasant because whenever you go back into the past, it brings up all those yeah. feel emotions that uh, lay buried and uh, attached to the memory. I'm this is not the first time you and Patty have played together. No. We play, well, we actually don't you know, play together, but we recorded together because I was working on um, uh, with her and Courtney on Courtney's America's Sweetheart record. You're performing tonight with some amazing performers. How did you guys ever work all of this out? I don't know. <laughs> Just... You're not responsible for this? Um, Patty Schemmel, I'll do anything for, you know, she asked me to be a part of this, and I said, yeah, sign me up, what do you want me to do? How did you recruit all of these people, may I ask? Uh, fr they're friends, you know, just from playing music with everyone. And uh, um, I just said, uh, I'm putting together a show. Do you want to, you know, come in and sit in? And they were like, of course, yeah. You're someone that I imagine that isn't used to being in the forefront. I mean, right. being the drummer in the band, yeah. you're used to sort of having Courtney or the other lead singers in the front. Is this, this must be sort of a whirlwind or like just a complete change of pace for you to get used to being the girl in the front. Right, right, in, exactly. That's how I feel. It's, it's a strange place. But also, I feel that it's, I'm talking about, you know, this, the, the doc, which is uh, my story. So it, I feel comfortable talking about it, you know what I mean? And, it, and it's, um, so, you know, it's, it's not so bad. But it is, it's, it's kind of awkward, you know? Are you, is this like a, a revolutionary moment? Do you plan on singing lead vocals from now on? <laughs> I know, that's the big joke. Every drummer wants to be out in front, you yeah. know, yeah, yeah. I've Not so much for you? Or? 